Okay, so good morning. So I wanted to help you with this worksheet that you needed help with. And um, I'm glad you asked because this is kind of a uh, one of those things that you really have to think through. So let's see if I can help you with this. Worksheet 12.3, number three on the back of the page uh, going over bushels of wheat. So these steps below will walk you through finding the bushels of wheat produced inside the United States and outside the United States for 1906, given only this information regarding the wheat crop of the world. So the wheat crop of the world in 1906 was approximately 3,423 million bushels, while the number of bushels produced outside the United States was 483 million bushels, more than three times that produced inside of the United States. All right, so on A, it says, and notice kind of down towards the bottom underneath letter B, right before letter C, it says note, MBU stands for uh, million bushels. So we'll just kind of keep that in mind. I don't know why they didn't put that up top, whatever. Okay, so on A, uh, it says that we've used X because we've got like three numbers here. Uh, and I'm not talking about the date, of course. I'm talking about the total wheat, which was the 3,423 million bushels. That's the entire world. That's one number. Then we've got the bushels produced outside the United States, which is three times the amount produced inside of the United States plus 483 million. Okay, then we've got the bu bushels produced inside the United States. So those are our three factors or three numbers that we know and don't know. So on letter A, we've used X to represent the bushels produced inside of the United States, which of course we don't know, so that's why it's X. The bushels produced outside of the United States equals three times X plus what amount? So right in that first section, bushels produced outside the United States equals. Now the, the equation for that is what's produced inside the United States, which we don't know, which was X. So for outside, it was three times that amount. So that's where they get three X plus the 483 million. You can just put 483 MBU there. So for letter A, bushels produced outside the United States is 3X plus 483. So bushels produced inside the United States is just X. Okay, so we can figure out a lot of stuff if we can figure out what X equals. So on B, finish rewriting this relationship between the total bushes and those produced inside the United States and those produced outside the United States using only the numbers and the unknown X. So 3,423 MBU, remember that's total in the entire world. So that's why it's on one side of the equal sign, that's total. Okay, so that equals bushels produced inside the United States, which is what? Okay. So I'm going to be right here. So I'm on letter B. So that first little section is 3,423 MBU equals, now th this, is, this is the second little section. Now the first section tells you what it's going to be, what's going to go here. Well, bushels produced inside the United States, which is what? X. Because remember, up top on A, we, we know that that's what that is. All right, now the next part <clears throat> is going to be the other equation. The equation for the bushels produced outside the United States. So that would be 3X plus the 483. I'm not putting my units. It's too hard for me to write with my thing here. All right. So that's what you fill in for B. All right. Now we go to C, and it says to solve the equation that you wrote in 3B to find the bushels produced inside the United States. 
All right, so you should be able to do this, but I just want to remind you of one thing. Remember, there's a plus sign here right in front of these parentheses, so really that means there's a one there. Remember how to do that. Basically what you're doing is you're taking away these. And then you're going to, of course, add these together because these are like terms. So you should end up with, uh, if you want to pause it right quick and then play it, I'll show you what you should end up with. Okay, so 3,423 MBU equals, this would be 4X plus 483 MBU. That's what you'd end up with. Now, I think probably from here you can get it um, because, you know, this is what we've been doing. You're just going to have to add negative 483 to both sides or, well, I say subtract it from both sides and go from there to figure out what X is. Okay, so if you have any trouble from here on out, let me know. Um, but I, I have a feeling it was just kind of coming up with that equation. So if I'm wrong, let me know and I'll be happy to finish the rest of it for you. Okay. All right, that's all for today.